Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to go over creating this basic horizontal menu, but it's got this accordion drop down submenu effect. Okay, so still working on navigation menus, and if you look in the video description, you will find a link to this file so you can view the source code. But I want to focus on making this little submenu. Now, I've already got the HTML created, so if I go to my HTML file, you'll see that it's a pretty standard unordered list. I did classify the parent menu, and I also have classifications for the submenus. And when you're dealing with nested lists, i.e. submenus, the unordered list goes completely inside of the list item of the parent item. So it can be a little bit tricky. Just keep in mind, submenus go within the list item. All right, but the real work for this site is going to be on the CSS. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, I've already got a CSS file set up, and I'm going to create a section here where I work on these CSS rules. Now, the first rule is going to be for the unordered list itself. So I'll do my nav5 uh, unordered list, and I'm just going to do list style type none to make sure there's no bullets displaying. So nothing too tricky there. Now we're going to start getting into the fancier stuff. Nav5. And this is going to be for my parent menu list items. But I want to be a little more specific than this. Doing list items that are descendant of the parent menu, that would control all kinds of things, including my submenu items. So I need to be a little bit more specific. And I'm going to say a child, the direct list item child of my parent menu. That's a child selector because I want to create a horizontal menu, basically. Each of my list items, I'm going to go ahead and set to be 190 pixels wide, 30 pixels tall, and float left. That's the secret to making it uh, a horizontal menu right there, is that float left. I'll go ahead and set some margin, 0 pixels top and bottom, 5 pixels left and right. And I'm going to do a position relative right now, just so Later on, I can do some position absolute with this. And you want a position absolute within a position relative. Let's see what kind of effect this is having on our menu right now. So this is the start with no styling. And when I refresh, if I can see my item 1, item 2, and item 3, those are horizontal. Kind of ignore the submenus for, for a second. We're going to be getting to those very, very soon. Now, to really make this menu start to come alive, the next rule is going to be pretty uh, pretty critical. Basically, it's how are we controlling the anchor tags in these elements. So this is really going to make this visually start to look like a finished product. And most important, display block. Make those anchor tags into block elements, and then you can perform some visuals to make them look like little buttons. So I've got a number of rules in here. They're block elements width and height 190 by 30, text formatting, some colors, background colors. But making those changes here, if I save my CSS, head back to the browser, and refresh, now this menu is starting to come alive, and you can start to visualize, OK, I see where things are going. So the next couple of CSS rules I want to work with are going to deal with the submenu, the submenu itself and the list items within the submenu. So I'm going to head back over to my code. I'm going to create a new rule here, and this one's going to be for nav5, and this is going to be my sub menu. Okay, now there's not a lot in here, but it's pretty important. I'm going to do position relative, and I'm going to go ahead and do left zero picks, top negative 34 picks. Now I know that's not going to make a lot of sense right now, but basically my each of my buttons my anchors is 30 pixels tall, and at some point soon, I'm going to be putting a little uh, padding top of about 4 pixels, and so this will get them seated up there pretty nicely. In fact, I think I'll do a 0 pix for now, just so you can really see what's happening with that. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and do a Z index, negative 1. This is going to ensure that my submenu is going to be behind my, um, my, my main menu, my parent menu. I want that to happen. And... Yeah, I think that's going to be pretty good. Let's go ahead and save this and see if we get any dramatic change. We probably won't see too much that's impressive. Yeah, so you don't really see any change with that. So let's do another rule on here where things can really start to get updated. This is going to be my nav5 submenu list items. So the child list items 
in my sub menu. And they're going to have the same old 190 picks, height 30 picks, and position absolute left zero picks, top zero picks. This is going to be a big dramatic one here. So as soon as I save that, browser refresh, you can see these sub items are pushed up. They're all stacked up one on top of the other. And this is where I want to get these sub items behind my parent items. So back on this sub menu positioning, this is where I could do negative 30 pixels. And that hides them behind there. Okay, so takes care of that part. Now something else that I want to do with these list items though, is I want to put some padding top of about four pixels on there. Now as soon as I put that padding top, you can see that my sub, sub menu items are just peeking down there just a little bit. And this is why I'm going to do a negative 34 pixels for their positioning, relative positioning. So they're all squished up under there. All right. Now, now the only thing left, of course, is the hover effect. So let's go ahead and take care of that. And then we shall be done. Okay, so and basically it's going to be within my nav 5 here the hover state of the parent list item and then the sub menu is a descendant of that and then the list item nth child and I'll go ahead and do number one here so the first child list item of the sub menu when I'm hovering over that list item and I'm going to adjust the position for all of these it's going to be left 0 pixels top 35 pixels and I'm going to go ahead and do all the other menu items there we go so I've sized them or sorry positioned them from the top about every 35 pixels so let's make sure this is saved browser refresh so those menu items just pop down there I want to transition so I'll go up to the list item rule for my sub menu items transition and I'm just changing the top I'll do uh, 400 milliseconds ease in out save that browser refresh so now when I hover over they get that nice drop down effect now you see that this is happening to me here easy enough to fix I just head up to my first list item my parent list item I'm gonna make sure this has a Z index of a big number and I'll do 10 because it's certainly bigger than anything I've done refresh there we go. So the illusion is complete. There's my accordion style drop down for those submenus.